In this video, we're going to walk through how to finish Galaxy Zoo Part 2. In Part 1, you went through and classified 22 galaxies based on their appearance. So you looked at images, decided whether they looked like ellipticals, spirals, mergers, or maybe a star or artifact. So everyone in the class did this, and we're going to utilize the results, the class results, to go through and answer a bunch of questions. So first I'm going to show you the spreadsheet with the class's results, then we'll go through and walk through the questions themselves. So um, in column A, we have the galaxy's ID 1 through 22 that you were given um, when you were going through and doing your data collection. This is the total number of classifications, so the total number of people that went through and classified each of those. Um, and out of those, say, 12 people, for the very first one, all 12 of them um, classified it as a spiral. However, for Galaxy 2, 13 people did that one. Um, six of them classified it as an elliptical, three as a spiral, four as a merger, zero as an artifact. Um, this is the actual name of the galaxy that you were classifying, and this is a link to the image. So if you want to go back and take a look at what that uh, galaxy looked like, you can click this link. Over here, we have what the original Galaxy Zoo um, participants classified it as. So there are roughly 30 to 50 people that classified each one of these galaxies. So for that first one that all 12 of you classified as an elliptical, the 37 people that classified that one in the original Galaxy Zoo also all classified it as a, I think I said elliptical a second ago, spiral. Um, also all classified it as a spiral. For the second one, where it was much more of a mix, we can see there's a little bit of a mix here as well, um, but still the majority of the 50 some odd people that classified this one classified it as a spiral. So you're going to use this data sheet, um, both what, to take a look at what the original Galaxy Zoo group did and what you as a class did, as well as what you individually did, which is why you collected this on a data sheet, to go through and answer our um, questions. So if you've downloaded um, those questions, they look like this. So you're going to make sure you have that data sheet and you'll compare your results, the ones that you wrote down on your classification data sheet, to be able to answer these questions. So some of them um, are a little bit more, so if you compare your results to what the class got, um, take a look at the ones where you seem to differ from the majority of the class. Um, use that to answer these questions. And then you'll start to compare to what the original Galaxy Zoo group did um, and answer some of these questions. So there's only two pages. It should be relatively short. And that's the part two of the Galaxy Zoo part of this.